वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन दैट इज द केमिकल कैनेटिक्स सो इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड द केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम सो व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन दिस इक्विलिब्रियम रिएक्शंस दैट व्हेन देयर इज अ टू रिएक्टेंट ए एंड बी सो इट इज फॉर्मिंग सम प्रोडक्ट सी एंड डी एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस द सी एंड डी आल्सो स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग ए एंड बी सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड द बैकवर्ड रिएक्शन सो व्हेन Uh, both st steps are going in two directions forward and backward and this stage is called as the chemical equilibrium so that we have already studied and the rates of these two opposite reactions are equal and concentration of the reactant or products do not change with lapse of time so this we have already studied so most of the chemical reactions are spontaneous reactions what is the meaning of spontaneous reactions means uh, the reactions which occurs left to right means reactant to product means all the reactants are converted into products when all reactions converted into reactant products so they are completely converted product. means there is no reaction left here we can see reaction going backward but in the spontaneous reaction reaction do not go backward it will always go in one direction that is called spontaneous reaction means and secondly they have a natural tendency to occur so they will occur naturally it is not like we are doing forcefully so what are the spontaneous let us take some examples to understand uh, the meaning of spontaneous a reaction is said to be spontaneous if it occurs without being driven by some outside force or they occurs without outside interventions means we do not require any outside force it will occur automatically for example there are some Uh, everyday life examples flow of water from a hill we don't require force the water will flow from a hill to down automatically cooling of hot tea if you keep hot tea in the open condition that the tea will become cool we don't require intervention this is spontaneous process this is spontaneous process diffusion of ink in water you put ink in water it will dissolve this is a spontaneous process or you can say intermixing of gases by connecting to isolate container take place on its own means two you take two container suppose we have two container so what will happen the gas will go this side they'll get the, the, this is connected by pi the gas will go this side and this gas will go this side so intermixing of gases will take place this also inter, inter spontaneous process okay so these type of color inter which do, uh, in a spontaneous process which do not require any intervention so what is non spontaneous process which require intervention like when you are compressing gas into a smaller volume by pushing into a piston or any of examples means flowing water from down to uphill okay or making hot tea we require here uh, if you make a hot tea so we require some gas as uh, flow of water from it uh, uh, downhill to up means down to up to we require again some engine so these type forces is called as the non spontaneous process like a uh, ink can be condensed from water through a uh, fractional distillation or crystallization so these type process is called non spontaneous means they do not have a natural tendency to occur they do not occur naturally we require some external agency and they are brought about only by doing some work so these are called as the non spontaneous process so we are looking for only spontaneous reaction not non spontaneous reactions means these reactions may be slow or these reactions may be fast but require a spontaneous process so based on this uh, slow fast with their different type of uh, spontaneous reactions are there so some reactions are very fast some reactions are very slow some reactions are moderate what is the very fast reaction this, this reaction will take place in seconds approximately 10 to the minus 12 to minus 16 seconds this is very very less time is there for example silver nitride reacting with nacl immediately you will get precipitate agcl and sodium nitride this is very fast reaction barium chloride reacting with h2so4 it will give it will give you barium sulfate and hcl again fast reaction hydrogen reacting with the cl2 give you hcl so all photochemical reactions are very fast reaction other example like a neutralization reaction precipitation reaction these two are precipitation reactions ionic reactions explosion reactions the when the uh blasting will take place it will take the reaction will occur in within seconds burning of match sticks so these are the very fast reactions okay so these are the spontaneous but fast reaction very slow reaction like a rusting of iron it will take month or years at ordinary temperature to reaction but this is spontaneous because we are not doing anything it is occurring automatically natural tendency 
conversion of diamond to graphite. It will take millions of years. Diamond will be converted to graphite. We cannot detect. But after the millions of years, it will convert to graphite. Hydrogen also reacts with the oxygen at ordinary condition to form a water. Reverse will not take place, but formation of water will take place in this condition, but it will take again millions of years ago. Similarly, moderate reactions which, which is neither very slow or neither very fast. And these, uh, these reactions occur at room temperature with moderate steps. So, whatever the organic or inorganic substances are there, which is occurring at a moderate speed means their velocity can easily be measured. For example, decomposition of peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So, hydrogen peroxide, if you give heat, it will convert into water plus oxygen. Similarly, hydrolysis of ethyl acetate, inversion of sugar, sucrose. So, hydrolysis this is ethyl acetate. So, if you uh, hydrolyze it in presence of any acid, it will convert into acetic acid and ethanol. So, these directions are a moderate direction which is not very fast, not very slow. So, this reaction can be measured, but slow reaction, fast reaction is very difficult to measure. The, so, we are dealing the branch of physical chemistry which deals with the study of rate of reaction. These are the rate of reactions means slow rate, fast rate, moderate rate. So, rate of reaction, study of rate of reaction and the factors governing the rate, what are the factors that governing the rate of reaction is called as the chemical kinetics. So, we will study this topic in which we study the rate of reaction and factors. But we will study only moderate reaction, not very slow reaction, not very fast reactions. So, what is the use of studying this chemical kinetics? So, by study of chemical kinetics, you will come to know that the rate of chemical reactions and the rate loss. This is one thing you know, what is the rate of chemical reaction and rate loss. Second, the, what are the factors affecting the chemical the rate of reaction, that is the temperature, pressure and concentration and presence of catalyst which influences the rate of chemical reaction. So, we will study this one. And the mechanism or the sequence of steps, mechanism is sequence of various sequence of steps by which these reactions are occurring. So, the other important points in which we study under the chemical kinetics. Actually, uh, in thermodynamics, if you see, the, it will tell that the feasibility of the chemical reaction takes place, but chemical kinetics will tell the rate of the chemical reaction. Both are different. One is feasibility, one the rate. So, rate and feasibility are different quantities. Or we can say through this chemical kinetics we study we will find spontaneous, uh, spontaneity of the reactions or feasibility reaction that is the delta G is less than 0 it means it does not indicate the any speed of the reaction delta G is does not indicate any speed but should be less than 0 it means it will, it will be negative like hydrogen reacting with oxygen it will give you water so here delta G is always negative this reaction is called delta G positive which never occurs which requires some external agency to occur then if reaction is spontaneous then what extent of reaction take place before equilibrium is attained means uh, here we have to check the equilibrium constant yes, if reaction is spontaneous then we also study the extent of it, what up to what point reactions take place means there is a formation of product the reactions not go backward direction or we will study the rate or speed of the reaction that is carbon uh, in diamond is converted into graphite after millions of years this is the fast reaction. Sodium chloride in water, it will dissolve. It's also fast reaction. Bomb. These are the fast reaction. Combustion reaction, moderate reactions. Okay. So, what is why do we need to study all these chemical kinetics? Why we are studying? Actually, hydrogen oxygen is, uh, is react with oxygen at room temperature. So, it will take how much years? Very too much time. Like the, it is so slow that the no change could be detected even after hundred of years. Means. Half life of this hydrogen oxygen is 10, per, uh, 10 to the power 25 years. Means if a this is a very, very slow reaction, but if a flame or spark is applied, but if you apply any flame or spark to this water, to this mixture, then what will happen? Explosion occurs with a half life of less than 10 to the power minus 6 seconds, and and it will increase the rate. That is the 10 to the power. That is the uh, 6. Uh, its rate is this one half life, uh, so it will increase the rate by the factor of over 10 to the power 31. So this is the difference of half life. So if you use the spark, it becomes 10 to the minus 6 half life. But if you don't use the spark, it will take 10 to the power 25 years to convert to water. 
सो बेसिकली विल स्टडी हेयर रेट सेकेंडली वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्यूल्स लाइक डीजल पेट्रोल एल पी जी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके एंड टू यूज दिस फ्यूल वी हैव वी रिक्वायर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंजन बिकॉज द रेट ऑफ बर्निंग ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सोर्सेस विल बी डिसाइडेड बाई द डिजाइन ऑफ इंजन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द फ्यूल वी विल डिसाइड द इंजन सो हेयर पेट्रोल पंप विद डिफरेंट रेट डीजल पंप विद डिफरेंट रेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हैज डिफरेंट रोल एल पी जे डिफरेंट रोल सो इंजन इज डिपेंड ऑन बेस ऑफ द बर्निंग ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ सोर्सेज एंड देर डेट्स वाई देर रेट ऑफ कैनेटिक्स आर डिफरेंट्स लाइक यू टेक फ्रूट्स लाइक एप्पल टोमेटोज मिल्क दे विल स्पॉयल इन समर रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस देर कन्वर्टेड देर स्पॉन्टेनियस प्रोसेस दिस विल भी स्पॉयल बिकॉज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन हाई एंड we can protect this rate of reaction how we can protect we can protect if you put these types of substances in the refrigerator so refrigerator will decrease time it will decrease temperature so what will happen the spoil we can pre prevent their spoiling so we can say rate of reaction is depending upon the temperature and time age of the plant similarly age of plant of the life or, or life of the old only monument so they can also control by the half life we know very well so if you know the half life we can understand the age can be decided so their half life is also fixed so this is one important factor to know the age of the this uh, uh, plant or uh, monument in industry also or construction engineering like uh, so uh, nitrogen plus hydrogen is forming ammonia with some conditions so the rate at which the ammonia is obtained from nitrogen and hydrogen this we can also find through the chemical kinetics or the rate at which the concrete state concrete means states the process also we can find through the study of chemical kinetics melting of ice this is the fast physical process so from a fundamental point of view so there are two important aspects to any process of change so whatever we are seeing the observing the change so to see the change it is very important first is that the extent to which the change has taken place in slow process the extent change is very slow the fast process the change is very fast and second thing the time taken to accomplish the change so extent and time these two are very important in the change now what is the reason for difference in rates why there is a fast reaction slow reaction what is the why uh, what is the meaning of this thing why reactions is different in every reaction it involves breaking and making of bonds in every reaction it involves breaking and making of bonds and different bond requires different amount of energy since bonds are different so energy is different for breaking as well as forming bonds difference in rate of different reaction due to in terms of activation second point is activation energy is working for different rate of reaction so one thing is bonds are different second thing activation what is meaning of activation energy activation energy means it is a minimum or we can say extra amount of energy which is absorbed by the reactant molecule so reactant molecule absorb this extra amount of energy so that their energy becomes equal to threshold value after absorbing the energy become threshold value we can write in this way activation energy equal to threshold value energy minus average kinetic energy of the reactant just keep in mind these two important factors we will discuss more thing about in the coming sessions reaction rate or rate of the reaction so it may be defined as the change in the concentration of any one of the reactant product per unit time so reaction rate is nothing but the change in the concentration of any of the reactant product unit time If you are giving that uh, time taken in time interval, whatever the change of the reactor product is going on, that is called the reaction rate. So, for example, reactant is converted product. So, in the given time interval, the concentration is changed into product is called reaction rate. Or we can say it is exactly the uh, the same way that we define the speed of the car or any other moving object. How we see here, uh, how we are uh, finding. So, speed of the object is nothing but the distance travel by the time required for the the travel or change in position by time required for change and it's unit we are writing meter per second kilometer per this is the very uh, school uh, level examinations definitions uh, similarly for a chemical uh, rate of chemical reaction we can write decrease in concentration of the reactant 
by time interval or we can say increase in the concentration of the product by time interval means what happened in this two process change in concentration by time taken so we can write this change is equal to delta t by equal to t2 minus t1 here i have given one example so to understand this one so see here this is the graph of y graph uh, concentration this is the time this is the graph of time so we can see here this is the concentration which is decreasing this is the product formation of product so r1 time so when this is decreasing so one product is formed at the same time when it leads to r2 so yes it is decreasing here it is increasing p2 so this r2 minus r1 will be minus delta r minus one means the disappearance of the re reactant and again p1 minus p2 so p2 minus p1 will be the positive change in product so rate of reaction is equal to rate of disappearance of reactant is equal to rate of appearance of product. So both will be equal to each other because this is the rate. Rate of disappearance is equal to rate of formation of product. Both are equal to each other. So what is square bracket? Square bracket, uh, bracket means this is the concentration of the molar concentration and negative sign means decreasing the concentration of the reactant. So for example, suppose PCL5. So PCL5 is converting to PCL3 and Cl2. So rate of reaction is nothing but the decrease in concentration of PCL5 by time taken or increase in concentration of PCL3 or Cl2 by time taken. What is the unit of rate of reaction? So for concentration term, we are taking concentration term. So unit is concentration by time. So concentrations are used. So concentration is called as mole per liter divided by second. Mole per liter per second or moles liter per liter per minute you can use any one if the reaction gases reaction you are taking then you can use the parcel pressures parcel pressure by time so parcel pressure used in place of molar concentration so instead of concentration you can use the parcel pressure then unit will be atmosphere per minute or atmosphere second rate of reaction does not remain constant throughout you have to keep in mind the rate of reaction does not remain constant it is variable so hence of rate of reaction at a particular instant which is defined as uh, change in the concentration of any one of the reactant or product per unit time at that particular instant of time. So this is the definition of the rate of reaction at a particular instant.